Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, where you'll hear Emaw, every man a wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child love the Kansas State Wildcats. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Kansas Jayhawks, taking on another team from the Big 12, the Kansas State. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Snags it on the right. Oh, look out, there he goes. Touchdown, Jayhawks. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. If you want to make a statement in a football game, that's how you do it. On your first offensive snap, you go 75 yards and... The play action fake. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I tell you, as a quarterback, it's going to be hard throwing. Back to pass, it's Daniels. And the pass ball is incomplete, and we are through one quarter. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. We've got it. From the gun, running back gets to give. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, Dave. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Fires to the tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling. He's got it. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. They've moved it right to the edge, and they need one more yard for the touchdown on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it! They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody... Dropping back, it's Daniels. He looks that one in nicely. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Big opportunity here to get a little breathing room on second and four from the 16. He's looking to throw. It's caught downfield. Open runway ahead. The 20. He's at the 10. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Rock Chalk. And I just...
just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try the run. They'll rip off eight on that play in second and two. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Gives him a little shake, and he's got some room. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Kansas! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. I love the execution on that. He's going to pass. A strike downfield. And that's where they'll mark him, but a chunk play, and they pick up a first down. Well, you haven't seen a lot of incompletions from this guy now in his last two games out. Completed over 70% of his throws last week. He's doing it again in this game. As a head coach, you got to love the fact that your quarterback is dialed in. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They go to the ground. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Jayhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 100. He's off to the races. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, right chunk, Jayhawk. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. Nice run. They'll go to the ground. Got the first down and more. All kinds of room to the right. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Jayhawks. They've got the lead here in the fourth. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now we can put a few first downs together. play action it's complete he gets it all the way down to the five yard line a terrific catch and run before he stopped and as they come to the line they have the lead and they have the clock on their side first and goal They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Rock Chuck! They're on the board again, and it looks...
Dropping back, it's Daniels. Wide open downfield. Turns it on down the left side. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Kansas! That one pushes this lead out a little bit more here in the fourth, and now they can smell eight straight wins. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident, and David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. Well, and it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like, you sometimes get overzealous. Sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check, and now bragging rights for a whole year. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.